Hi there everybody. Over the last few weeks, we've been asking people what are their most commonly asked questions when it comes to moving home. So in this little mini series, we've got 10 of the most popular questions that we're gonna be going through with you and just offering our own personal opinions and advice. So the first one being today, can I find a property before putting mine on the market? Darren, I'll let you kick us off with that one. Okay, so this is um, this is a good one that we get asked quite a lot. Um, in short, yes, you can. Is it the most beneficial way of doing things? Probably not. Uh, first and foremost, what happens if you find the house of your dreams that you think is only going to come up once in a blue moon? Uh, by the time that you think you can get booked and see it, it's probably already gone to somebody that is sold already or has nothing to sell. Um, so to eliminate that heartbreak, try and be a bit wiser first of all. Um, that's probably my main point to start off with. Yeah, I think I think that's a really good point. Um, the other one I would bring up is sometimes there can be almost a financial kind of penalty as well for doing it that way. Um, you know, the, the general advice that I would recommend would be bring your property to the market first, find the best buyer. What you're doing that way is you're putting yourself in a better negotiation position for the one that you would like to buy, but also it allows you to get the best possible price for your home because all that may happen is if you find that dream property, you rush yours to the market, yep. you're going to end up paying over the odds for it. Probably. Um, so we even get a chance of getting it as well. We've yeah. spoken to a lot of people that try to ask for grace periods, trying to get two weeks of the property to be made unavailable so they can now then sell theirs. Mm -hmm. um, and as Dave said, you're probably going to try and sell it quickly, accept the first offer, um, which may not be as much as you need or want. Yeah. At the end of the day. That, that's my kind of main takeaway really is the financial penalty that it could put on yourselves. Uh, and the two come hand in hand to be honest. Um, looking at the way that the past well, 18 months or so have gone now, um, a lot of vendors may not actually allow you to come in or agents may not be conducting viewings with uh, people that aren't in the position, you know, a good agent should be looking after your best interests first and foremost. Um, and if that is popping out, sitting down, going through the finances, like Dave said, getting the marketing looking spot on for your home, um, that's going to mean that you're then in a position to be stress free. You have the blinkers on, focus on selling your property. When it then comes to finding, don't feel like there's somebody breathing down your neck saying you have to find somewhere. Um, it's not going to be something where you're going to be made homeless if you can't find anywhere. Your agent should be able to say, this is the best buyer in the best position, and they will advise them and saying, the vendors of the property do need to find somewhere. They're looking at X, Y, and Z, um, and it may take this long. Obviously, there'll be constant updates provided to them throughout it, so let them know how the search is going. But um, yeah, I think the demand is so high at the moment. Yeah. If somebody's not prepared to wait, so we can move on to the next one. Yeah. Um, it'd be a bit different if you've been on the market for a year and had one viewing, um, but that's not the way it is just now. Um, you should be quite comfortable at, like I said, agreeing at least one sale um, just to keep yourself in the running for something. Yeah, uh, totally agree, totally agree. They'd probably be our main kind of three or four points. Um, in a nutshell, yes, you can do it, but it's strongly advised that you do bring it to the market beforehand, find the best buyer, and then focus on trying to find that dream home for yourself and your family. So I think that kind of wraps us up pretty nicely for that question. It does indeed. It's, um, yeah. it's one that we got asked a lot, and we still do get asked a lot, and yeah. we will still get asked a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, from, from the side of money, it's the main thing, you know, people like ourselves are here to get you the best price, and we can only do that by probably doing what we've said today. So yeah. next week, it'll be exciting to see which one comes up um, again give your opinions um, if you've got any more questions just leave a comment below and uh, we'll try and help out